This tutorial is on a subset of spatial join called spatial join closest. So one of the major uses of spatial join um, you know, is what are called, I call them container joins or within joins. Right? So I'm taking some container, this neighborhood, and I'm summarizing all of the information that's inside of it. Right? Maybe in this instance I would summarize all the schools and summarize their enrollment. Similarly, I could do the reverse of that, or within, I could take all these points and have each point tell me what neighborhood it contains. Right? This point, what neighborhood contains me? This point, what neighborhood contains me? What neighborhood contains me? But what if the relationship wasn't based on intersection or a container or within, but the neighborhood was based on proximity? Right? Let's say, for example, we wanted every school to tell us or to append to its attribute table some information about the Scepter Regional Rail Station to which it is closest. So if I'm me, who am I closest to? Well, I'm closest to this one. So append information about that. What about you? It's a close call, but I'd say I am closest to this one. So I'd append information about that. So again, every single one of these schools, all 567, is going to do a spatial join and it's going to append the information, right? Because that's what the join is at its heart. It's some taking information and appending it. But it's going to append information about the regional rail to which it's closest. Spatial join. Everything else is the same. What's the target? It's what I want to come back, right? I want schools to tell and append information about the regional rail, right? And the verb is all the way at the bottom, closest. So notice you do it, distance field pops up. Never happened before. All right, so schools append the information of the SEPTA regional rail to which you are the closest. No need to do a merge rule here, right? Because when we're talking about closest, and unless there's those freak instances in which there's two things that are exactly the same distance, in which case you'll just pick the first one it comes to, there's only one closest, right? So we only want one result here. If you leave the distance field option, it will not tell you a distance, but I always think it's good practice to put distance in two, because then you get an extra bonus where it tells you the distance to each. Taking its time, good, so schools came back. Doesn't really look like it, but if I make it maybe a triangle that's red, you can see that my red triangles. All right, so right, we theorize that this one here, theorize that uh, Cook Wissahickon would probably append information about the Wissahickon train station. And let's see if it did. All right, well, we've got a distance field. Unfortunately, it's in the beginning, but there it is, the facility name, right? All the schools information came first. It was the Cook Wissa Hicken. Here's all the schools information, all the schools, and then you will get into there we go. Now we're into the regional rails information, and there it is. Closest to the Wissa Hicken, and it reports all of the Wissa Hicken's information. And also tells me how far it happens to be from the Wissa Hicken. It's 2,362.